All right, so I just finished a great podcast with a friend of mine, Danny Johnson of Flipping Junkie, and we had a uh, Flipping Junkie, and we had a we had a great conversation. Uh, I've been helping Danny with the software company and helping him, uh, you know, really refine what he's doing in his team and organization and operations and things like that. And we had a we had a pretty good high level conversation about you know the data insights into your business and you know the software product he's creating, you know, Flipping uh, Flip Pilot and uh, what that can do and what it's all about and. You know, at the end of the day, at the end of the conversation, he was like, you know, really it boils down to lifestyle, you know, becoming what a flip pilot really is. And it's all about, you know, having the lifestyle that you really want to have, whether you're, you know, an investor, uh, if you're flipping houses, whatever you're doing, um, you know, in business, we reverse engineer. So what I help people do, what I like to look at is I like to keep the end in mind. So if it's a business, what is the end result? Are you going to build it up to sell it? Or are you going to, you know, pass it along to the generations to come behind you? Um, you know, same thing with the property. If you're developing, buying, selling, flipping, whatever it is, there's an end result to that uh, activity. And whether it's a property or a business or your life and lifestyle, you want to reverse engineer that, right? So um, if you think about what you want your life to really look like and put that down on paper and then reverse engineer it, it starts to become more real and more realistic. And, you know, everybody's different, right? So somebody else's vision of a perfect lifestyle doesn't necessarily need to be yours uh it doesn't necessarily you know have to be yours and there is no right solution not everybody has to 10x what they're doing or 2x what they're doing or 5x what they're doing or you know have this business that you know runs on autopilot or quit your w2 job or whatever you know all of those things aren't right for everybody you know some people want to go out there and blaze a trail and, and try to hit it and get it and make it as big as they can um, but that doesn't have to be your goal. So what I'd really like for you to think about is what is your goal? What is your ultimate lifestyle? What do you want your life to look like? Whatever that is, you know, in personal business, health, spiritual, you know, whatever it is, figure out those four or five key areas, you know, obviously spiritually first, um, and then your health, uh, you know, your family, your career and then your financial, you know, your financials and your, your uh, financial situation. You know, you can break it down, your relationships, you know, you can break it all down into those, you know, four or five different core areas and, you know, imagine what your ultimate lifestyle looks like in those areas and then reverse engineer it from there. Because if you break everything down that way, it's all about little action steps that you take each day to get there. You know, if you want to be healthy and lose weight, you know, you have this end goal in mind. And then you just work it backwards to the daily actions you need to take. Same thing financially, same thing with your career, uh, same thing with a business. But, you know, a lot of people don't look at the lifestyle uh, aspect of that. You know, so it's the same thing with the lifestyle. What do you want your lifestyle to be? What do you want it to look like? Do you want to travel? Do you want to spend more time with the kids? Do you want to be able to be at home and read a book? Do you want to be working 24 hours a day? You know, I mean, that could be your lifestyle. Working constantly, you know, can be your lifestyle. And, you know, that's not necessarily wrong for everybody you know there's this whole thing about being a workaholic and things like that you know some people if it works for you and and it's what you want to do then you know hey that's what you want to do but um lifestyle is key so take a look at that think about what your lifestyle looks like your ultimate lifestyle where it is you want to be in some of those core areas and overall and then write it down visualize that think about it see it and then start reverse engineering all the little action steps you need to take to get there and you know, uh, and that way you can really measure it, you can really track it, you can really manage it, you can really see where, uh, you know, and how you're getting there. And, you know, it's kind of like the, the analogy I use all the time is railroad tracks. You know, you, you stand on a set of railroad tracks and you look down the tracks and you can only see so far. But if you walk to that point, you can see even further. And, you know, vision for your life kind of works the same way. What you think is the ultimate lifestyle now may not be what it is once you get there. And it may not be that, you know, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, we all change as we go as we go along and things change and visions change and lifestyles change and family changes and things like that. So, uh, you know, take a look at that. Take a look at lifestyle. Take a look at your business. Take a look at your relationships and your, you know, your health and your finances. And, you know, think about the end goal, reverse engineer it, and then you will have a true path on how to get there and when. And you can really measure it, manage it, track it. And, and at some point, you know, you will be where you want to be. And uh, then you can decide, hey, is this where I want to be or do I want to go somewhere else? And uh, 
you know, it's really all about what you want to do as an individual. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Don't look at what everybody else is doing. Don't let anybody tell you that you have to, you have to grow, you know, exponentially do this, or you got to quit that, or you got to, you know, do 500 deals a year or, you know, whatever it is, you have to do what's right for you. You have to do what you want to do, what you're comfortable with. And that can be pushing yourself. It could be getting there slower. So figure out what it is you want to do. Figure out what your lifestyle looks like. Put it down, write it down, visualize it, reverse engineer it, and then you're off to the races. So that's, uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. And I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.